things are getting pretty interesting here at the SiteWorks Developer Focus Elasticsearch series. Let me, Jim, Senior Developer at SiteWorks, tell you all about it. Take a seat, we're going to be here for a few minutes. Quick recap time. We've set up an index type and fields. We bulk indexed our data and we've run a variety of queries. We've also sorted and paginated our results. Dataset, Gen 1 Pokemon. Now, we'll be continuing to learn some more fun ways to query in Chapter 8, Term Level Queries. In this chapter, we will learn what makes a query a term level query, and also run a few of them, including the missing, exists, prefix, and wildcard queries. The setup files for this chapter are linked in the video description. If you have no idea what to do with these files, please check out the Chapter 3 video. We're still using our standard setup files and script, which drops our index, recreates it with our Pokemon type, and bulk indexes our Pokemon. We still only have detailed data on the first 18, but that is all we will need in this chapter. Don't forget to check your counts and index metadata to make sure everything got set up properly. Mine looks good, so let's get moving. Before we get into the querying, let me define what a term level query is. The best way to explain this is to also discuss its counterpart, the full text query. In Elasticsearch, queries can be categorized as either a full text query or a term level query. Simply put, and from the Elasticsearch documentation itself, a full text query analyzes the query string before executing, while a term level query deals with exact terms. We consider a query term level when it does not involve analysis in any way. They are usually run on non-tokenized fields that have shorter one or two word values such as our name.raw, type.raw, and evolution.raw fields in our dataset. We have used examples of both in the past. Early on, we used the match query, which is a full text query that will score documents based on the analysis and tokenization of said documents and determine which documents match the query best. The higher the score, the closer to the top the result will be. We've also used the term query, which is a term level query, in order to get results where a non-analyzed field value matches an exact query. Each exact match will give the same score across all matching documents, and no analysis or tokenization is involved. Now that we understand what a term level query is, let's look at a few of them. The first one we will look at is the missing query, which is used to query the index for all documents where a specific field is missing or null. You'll see here I am wrapping this query using a constant score query, which is me telling Elastic not to score the results because they will all not have this field, and what order the results come back in doesn't matter to me. I'm going to write this query to return to me all Pokemon without an HM field set. Since we only have 18 Pokemon that could potentially have this field set, our result set for this query will at least have 133 results. But since we have 138, that means 5 out of our 18 do not have any HMs. You'll notice as I scroll that each result has a score of 1, and that all the results are missing the HM field. Similar to the missing query, we have the exists query. Just like the missing query, false or a blank string does not mean null, so those will match an exists query. For example, if I query for all Pokemon that have has evolution set, I will get the first 18 because they either have true or false set, and false is treated as a value, not null. Let's also check our HM field again, and we can see that 13 have HMs. This complements our five results from our missing query. An interesting note about the missing and exist queries is that they can be run on tokenized fields, but they are still considered term level queries because they do not do any analysis. The next two queries, on the other hand, can only be run on non tokenized fields. The prefix query will return all results where the field being queried has a value that begins with the characters queried. 
It is the ideal query to use when you're setting up a type ahead in an input field on your site or application that suggests values to the user as they type in characters. Let's query our name field for all Pokemon whose names begin with CH. As you can see, querying directly on name gives us no results because name is tokenized. I can simply change the query to point to name.raw in order to get the results we want. And we get Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, and Chansey, all beginning with CH. The prefix query is basically a shortcut for our next query, the wildcard query. We could write a wildcard query of ch star and we would get the same results as our prefix example. But the wildcard query allows us to place the wildcard in other parts of the query. We can use an asterisk, which matches zero or more characters, or a question mark, which matches any single character. In this query, I am putting the wildcard at the beginning and querying for all Pokemon whose name ends in Eero. As you'll see, our result set consists of Spiro and Firo. We can also place the wildcard right in the middle. Here I am running the query on all names that begin with Tentac and end with L. And that gets us Tentacool and Tentacruel. This concludes our chapter on term level queries. In this chapter, we learned the difference between a full text query and a term level query. We also went over examples of term level queries, such as the missing, exists, prefix, and wildcard queries. In the next chapter, we will learn about the valuable bool query and how we can use it to combine multiple queries. Thanks for sitting through all of that SiteWorks Elasticsearch Developer Focus series chapter. Feel free to stand up, stretch, take a break, but don't go anywhere because we still have more in store for you. This is Jim. Have a great day.